Okay, Joy Blue here, and today we want to talk about the SQL add operator or the addition operator. Um, it looks like this, just a little plus sign, and uh, we're going to see what we can do with that. So, first, I want to get into a table here. Uh, it's a table I have in the SQL training online, Simple DB, and it's called the employee table. And I'm going to run that and uh, show you that we have um, a salary and a commission. And so, I just want to get those two columns back. So I will say salary and commission. And then I'll run that. And so I just set those two columns. Now we're going to use the addition operator to add those two columns together. So I'm going to say salary plus commission. I run that and there you go. So now we have we've added the two columns together. Um, now we have a little issue here with a null. Well, anytime you do addition, with a null, you get a null, don't you? So the thing we want to do here is we want to use this function called isNull. And so if it's null, we actually just want to put a zero in there. And so um, in that case, it will, let's run it, and it replaces the null with zero. But notice how this didn't work, right? So what we need to do to fix that, let me drag this down just a little bit so we can see everything we want to see. What we need to do is take this is null, and we actually need to put it in our addition operator. Put it right there. So now, if I run that, you can see that we have numbers on everything. Now let's go ahead and alias that as, um, and we'll call that, call that total compensation. So now we have a column that says total compensation. And if we want to make this commission, we'd say as commission. And so now we've renamed all the columns. Now I want to show you a couple more things here. Um, I want to show you what we can do with dates. Okay, so I'm going to make a couple of carriage returns here. And with a date, um, let's just declare a date. We're going to declare, um, ah, what do I want to do? No, sorry. Let's go back to the employee table um, from employee. And we have the higher date. So I just want to bring that back now. And so here we go. And so now I need to highlight that and run it. We have, okay, we have that coming back. So now let's just see what happens if I add two to that. And so I will bring back twice. I'll say higher date again, um, plus two, right? Oops, sorry, ran the whole thing. Need to highlight that and just run my part of it. And you can see that by default, when you do use the add operator, you actually are adding days. So we just added a second day. So, you know, you'd want to do something like this if you were maybe, um, you want to find uh, a date, you know, always want to know two days after somebody's hired so that you can give them some training or something. So training date. And so if I run that now, we have an alias there. So um, that's basically everything. Um, as always, if you, find this helpful please leave a comment below click the like button or subscribe to my channel um, you can also visit me on sqltrainingonline.com and i hope you enjoyed this free video